What's up guys? So uh, let's get right into it. Using powerlifting athletes to determine strength adaptation across ages in males and females, a longitudinal growth modeling approach. So there's a recent study done. Um, I'm just going to kind of go over the abstract a little bit. I'm going to leave a link to it. Uh, but basically, uh, you know, they, they studied powerlifting athletes and uh, used some data to come up with uh, a few conclusions. Uh you know, a little bit of give or take, but generally speaking, uh, you know, most of your strength gains, uh, are in the earliest phases of powerlifting participation. Um, they, they said like a range of seven and a half to I think 12 and a half or 13%, um, in the first year and up to 20% increase after 10 years, uh, which, you know, obviously, uh, you, your new gains come on fast and hard giggity. Um, <laughs> Uh, but, uh, you, you still, you continue to increase strength. Um, and I think generally speaking, like, of course you're going to have to stay injury free for the most part. Um, and you know, not train like a complete idiot. Um, I think they said, uh, the ladies gain strength a little faster early on. Um, and they noted that possibly because of their lower baseline of strength, generally speaking. Um, one of the biggest things though. Uh, and, and my big takeaway from this is that they were observing, uh, you know, the potential for strength gains, uh, all the way up to 69 years old for the most part. Uh, and then a slight strength loss after that. And I'm, it's, uh, like under 1% a year, uh, strength loss, uh, after that. Now, obviously this is. This is done just on power lifters, which is already kind of a niche group. Um, and, uh, especially when you get up into those higher ages, like the, the amount of participants there to observe is even more niche, um, and small. Uh, so, you know, that there's, there's good data there. Um, there's good observations and there's good reason to think, uh, you know, that you can continue to get strong for a very long time. Uh, it, it's even something anybody who's been into sports, into boxing for a long time, you know, they'd always say the the power is the last thing to go for like a, a, a heavy puncher, like a George Foreman or Mike Tyson. You know, they'll say that power is the last thing to go. Um, and, you know, that's anecdotally speaking, but it's been observed for quite a while. Uh, so this, this kind of leads some credence to that. Uh, sorry about Facebook in the background. Um, but yeah, it, and, and it, it lends itself to, to the notion that even as you age, you should still be resistance training. And if you are a competitor, a competitive person, um, within powerlifting, that's what this is based on. Uh, you know, there's not a certain number where you should just give up and be done, um, you know, that first 10 years of growth is obviously going to be the most, uh, but you can still continue to get strong and get better after that. That's not the end of the line. And also, you know, generally speaking, like there's not an age number except denoted in here at 69. Nice. Uh, but from what they observed all the way up to that, you can continue to make strength gains. They did know that, you know, the, the, gains aren't linear, which of course, you know, your strength gains aren't going to be linear. They're going to ebb and flow a little bit. Uh, but I think the study itself, uh, you know, never just put all your eggs in one basket in one study, but there's good data there and, you know, everybody should be strength training for life, if not to compete, uh, but just to, to live, you know, your life to the fullest for as long as you're around here and be able to, you know, be able to be able for lack of better terms. But again, I'll link this in the description. Um, but I wanted to kind of bring this to light. Peace.